Hey everyone, today I am finally filming one of my most requested videos and that is cooking videos. So many of you asked me to do cooking videos and show you what we eat for dinner or just little things that I do here and there and honestly I am not the cook in my home. My husband takes on that role. He loves to cook. He loves to experiment with food. I enjoy baking but I'm just not a cook. But I'm really trying to you know learn how to cook and try new recipes and try to enjoy it somewhat so I thought I would share with you one of my favorite things to make and one of my favorite things to eat um, and that is chicken zingers chicken zingers are basically just like chicken breasts with buffalo sauce and cheese and sour cream and it is to die for my uh, mother-in-law actually made it once like a few years ago and I have been hooked on it ever since my husband and I uh, recently started making it probably within the last year or so and it is so good. All of my friends love it. Um, it's just, ugh, it just tastes so good and it's so easy to make. It's like the quickest meal ever. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to make that. So let's go ahead and get started. Here are the ingredients that you will need for the chicken zingers. Obviously, you're going to need some kind of chicken breast. This is the kind that I purchased. It was just from Publix. It's the all-natural uh, chicken. I am cooking three chicken breasts because this meal is going to feed my husband and myself, and we're going to want um, leftovers throughout the week. So you can use as little uh, or as much as you want, but that is what I'm cooking today. Um, you need sharp cheddar cheese. You can get, obviously, whatever brand that you prefer. This was on sale by Wingo and Free, so that's why I picked that out. Um, I'm using Pam cooking spray just to spray my pan down so that the chicken doesn't stick. You're also going to want some kind of sour cream. And then the most important thing is the Frank's Red Hot Wings and Buffalo. This is the uh, sauce that we'll be using. I obviously don't have enough. I have to go run to the store and get some more, but uh, that's the kind of sauce that you will want for this recipe. First things first, you're going to want to preheat your oven. I am going to put mine on bake and then I'm going to put it up to 350 degrees. While my oven is preheating, I'm going to go ahead and get my chicken ready to go in the oven. So what I'm going to do is just take my pan spray. I'm going to just lightly spray my pan. And then I have my chicken ready, so I'm just going to go ahead and just take the chicken and just throw it right onto the pan. This is kind of hard to do one-handed. <laughs> Just going to leave a little bit of room in between. So that's all you have to do your chicken. Just take it out of your cart and throw it on your pan and you're going to put it in the oven for about 28 to 30 minutes. I just pulled the chicken out of the oven. I put it in for 28 minutes and now we're going to cut it into little pieces. Okay, so I went ahead and poured my uh, hot sauce into a small bowl, and now what we're going to do is take the pieces of chicken that we cut and dip them into the hot sauce, making sure that it's completely covered. And then once you're done with that, you're just going to put it back onto the pan. Now our chicken's been cut, and it, they are all covered in the buffalo sauce. Now the next step is to take your cheddar cheese and sprinkle it on top. You can add as much or as little as you want. Once you have each piece of chicken covered with the cheese, you're going to take your sour cream and just put like a dollop of sour cream on each piece. Now that you put the sour cream on, we're just going to put it back in the oven for three to five minutes just to kind of melt the cheese. Okay, so it's been in there for about three and a half minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and take it out and just make sure the cheese is all melted. It smells delicious. And it looks good. So now all you have to do is just put it on a plate and it's ready to eat. Super simple and easy. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing how I make chicken zingers. My husband did step in um, in the middle of the video and kind of helped me because it's hard to film and cook at the same time. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you do try this recipe out, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Any requests that you have, go ahead and leave them below as well. And if you want to take a picture of your meal, go ahead and post on Instagram and send it to me. You can just hashtag Glitter and Groceries and I will be sure to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more cooking videos and I will see you guys later. Bye!